This video is about color-dependent plot style tables, or CTB files. CTB files allow you to plot professional-looking drawings from AutoCAD using various line weights, colors, screenings, or line types, as you can see in this example drawing. This is an example of a CTB file which simply takes the colors that you've assigned to the layers in your drawing, if we look at the Layer Properties Manager, and outputs them to whatever color you wish. If we look at color 1, which is red on the screen, the output will be black. As well, the line weight has been assigned and is 0 0.02. And in the CTB, this allows you to select whatever line weight you wish. If we go down through the colors, you can see that color 2, the yellow, is also going to be output as black, and its line weight is thinner, 0 0.016. And if we go through the other colors, you can see the line weights reduce in size. That's just the way this particular CTB file has been constructed. Now you can customize your own CTB file and assign whatever color you wish to have any particular line weight or line type. If you have a CTB file from some other source and you wish to load that into AutoCAD, just simply go under the big A and come under Print. And you will then come down to Manage Plot Styles. Now this will open up the Plot Styles folder, which is where all of the CTB files are saved. If you've downloaded the CTB file from Moodle, your Site Engineering CTB, just simply take that and drag it over into the Plot Styles folder. Here's our drawing and model space. If we go up to Layer Properties, we can see our layers and the colors assigned, the various line types that have been applied, and you'll notice that line weight is all just default. And this is because this will all be overridden by our CTB file. Now let's take a look at the CTB file in action. We need to go to our layout, and you'll see our drawing with the line types but none of the colors have been applied yet. So if we type plot, or we could go up to print, you'll see that our CTB file is Site Engineering. If it hasn't been selected, just simply go to this particular pull-down and select the Site Engineering CTB, or whatever your CTB file is named. And we can then just come to Preview. And you can see now that line weights have been applied. Everything is black or gray. But there are a couple of issues here. One, you'll notice that the dashed lines aren't equally spaced. As well on this curve, we have a long line instead of our uh, double dash. And our stream is a solid line as opposed to the dash that has been assigned to it. So there's an easy way in which you can correct this. Now the issue is not with the CTB file, but rather just a quirk within AutoCAD. To get the dashes to go through the curved lines and not be interrupted by vertices, we simply use the pedit command and we need to select multiple, so just type in M return, and select really all of the lines that are within our drawing. And we hit return to select those. And we don't want to convert these P lines, or everything into a P line, so just hit N for no. And now it wants us to enter an option, and this is where we want to select line type generator. So L type gen, click on that, and you want to make certain that this is turned on. Unfortunately, the default is off. So if we hit return, you don't see anything really happen here. 
but if we go to our layout, you can now see that these dashes are all evenly spaced. And if we go back to plot and hit our preview, you will also notice that now we have a nice dashed line for the property boundary. Our stream is also a dashed line and our contour lines are also nice and evenly dashed. To complete the exercise, you're going to need to create two new layers and they will be cut. And we're going to give the cut layer a color of 10, a nice red color. And then we need to create a new layer called fill. And we're going to give that a blue color and we'll make that number 150 here. We'll now make fill our current layer by double clicking and you can see the check mark next to that. And now on the fill layer we're going to create a P line and this will represent say the 104 contour approximately. And so you'll be doing this tracing around each contour on your grading plan. And you need to make this into a closed P line. So you can just hit C at the end in order to ensure that that's closed. We're then going to hatch this. So simply click on the hatch icon. And we want to do this by object. So click Select Objects and click on our outline and we now have our hatch. Next we want to select our hatch and if we right click we can come down to Draw Order and send this to the back. And let's take a look at our layout. So even though we've sent this blue to the back, you can see that it's quite difficult to really read and understand what's going on. What we can do next is preview our plot. So if we just type in plot and hit our preview, we can again see that this is fairly difficult to really read. And this is where we can come and adjust our CTB file. So the icon next to the CTB, and we want to adjust our fill, which is color 150. And this is where we can adjust the screening. So let's just make this 25% screening. We can save and close. And we could come and again, adjust any of these options within the plot style table editor. So save and close this. And now if we preview, you can see that this is much easier to read. We now have a 25% screening and this blue is much easier to understand. So you'll repeat this for each of your fill areas as well as your cut areas using the red layer and then produce your final product. Hopefully this provides you with some helpful hints on using CTB files and I wish you luck.